Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 103. Hey, if you want to download this workbook for chapter 11, click on the link directly below the video and scroll all the way down to the Excel Finance class section. Now this is chapter 11, but before we do chapter 11, I just want to do a little video on the historical stock data that we saw in chapter 10 and talk about geometric mean. See a second way to calculate geometric mean. Now we saw from history cap, small cap stocks return an arithmetic mean of 16.4, large stocks a return of 11.7. That's from the year 2005 to 2008, an 83 year span. Also, we saw uh, based on this historic data, a dollar invested in 1925. In 2008, uh, it grew to 9,554, uh, etc. I want to show you in this video how to calculate geometric mean based on just a begin value, an end value, and the number of periods. Here's our formula, pretty straightforward, equals the end divided by the begin. Now I'm going to do this formula, but if the begin is 1, you all only need the uh, end amount. But in case the amount you're starting with is not $1, then you want to do that. And you have to raise it to, so this is an exponent, 1 divided by the end, the number of periods. So 83, that's the difference between those three. In essence, we're taking the 83rd root. Now that'll give me 1 plus the uh, geometric mean, so I'm going to subtract 1. Now actually, I'm going to lock this cell reference right there, so I'm going to hit the click right there and hit the F4 key, and then Enter, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. So we can see the geometric mean, and the geometric mean, as we talked about last chapter, is always going to be less than the arithmetic mean, unless all the rates are exactly the same, which they're not. Now we could check, so different than last chapter, and let's remind ourselves what we did last chapter. Here is all of the data, and I actually typed this in from the textbook. I did, couldn't find a file or anything. Um, and there's maybe a couple decimals error there, but nevertheless, 83 years of data, we can, this is how we calculated geo mean before, right? Here we calculate geo mean from just two values and the number of periods, but here's how we calculate from all the actual uh, data, the, the changes per year, the return per year, period returns. So as we saw, we have to use the sum product function and then the geo mean. The geo mean, the geometric mean needs one plus all of these rates. Since we actually have the rates, I'm going to click there and then control shift down arrow. Scroll back up, and we have to add 1. Now, as we saw last chapter, the reason why we have to use some product is because we're doing an array operation, and normal formulas can't handle it. So if we slap it into the some product, that's, a, that's an argument that says array, it'll actually handle the array. And then we can subtract 1. That's how we did it before. That gives us 9.54. That's for the large company stocks. Now again, there's going to be a slight difference between here and here because we did this, uh, I typed this in, and there's probably a couple errors there on 83 values. Nevertheless, that was the geo mean formula, and you can see it there for all of the actual returns or values or percentage change or proportional changes. And this was the formula for uh, just two beginning and end and the number of periods. So pretty darn close. You also want to know, yeah, the geo means always less than the arithmetic mean. We could also check this, right? See if we did our calculation right. I'm going to say this times, in parentheses, 1 plus, this is the geo mean. Now remember, the geo mean is different than arithmetic mean because it is the true compounding rate uh, to you. So we simply say 1 plus and then raise it, caret to the 83. And I'm going to hit. F4 to lock that, control enter, and we better get exactly the same value for each one of these, and we do right here. All right, so geo mean formula number one based on two values, and geo mean formula number two based on all the actual percentage or proportional changes. All right, uh, see you next video.